Hello, Boomer Rizzles. What's going on? It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I have a reaction today that involves Matt Berry. Thanks to Duncan yet again. Uh, thank you, Duncan, for sending this in. This is Matt Berry's Wild Love. He also writes even funnier short spoof nature documentary. Again, voiced by Matt Berry and written by Bob Mortimer. Oh, okay. A must watch. So it's definitely filled with Muppetry. That's for sure. So, uh, I did really like the, uh, the Lone Wolf, uh, little short doc that Matt Berry narrated. That was a real treat. And I think, Duncan, you sent me that one, too. So, this should be pretty good. And it's called Wild Love, so I bet there's gonna be some... He's gonna narrate about the, uh, lovemaking in the, uh, animal kingdom, I guess. I don't know, but I'm already I'm already giggling inside because Lord knows what, what how wacky this is going to be. But anyway, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and let's check it out. Here we go. Inspirational, craftily adapted or cradapted to their environment and designed for survival. It is the instinct to procreate that most powerfully motivates or motivates their existence. To attract partners for sex, many have developed elaborate courtship rituals or courtuals. Oh, look at that. Wild love. The human animal uses many varied tools to attract a sex partner. Crispy mint thins, Tiny pottery gifts and promises of housing. <laughs> Birds, however, love to dance. Some of them do. This fucker move. Wait, what'd he say? Birds, however, love to dance. Look at this fucker move. <laughs> the more extravagant the bloke's dance, the more likely he will be noticed. I've seen this, this when he turns into a mask. Yep. the forest pigeon or ghost. And let's face it, she's not all that. But this grinning fool is desperate. And most birds would be appalled by this display. Yet this slack prick doesn't know up from down. And it. <laughs> yeah, this. I I can watch a whole hour long documentary with Matt Berry's voice in this dude. Uh, but this particular one, I've seen this from uh, Planet Earth. From uh, but wow. This was, that originally aired like almost 20 years ago at this point, man. Time flies. Is bamboozled. She's lost interest. And she's off. Unlike pigeons, these colonial hopping dogs are a dowdy sullen crowd who don't go in for displays or rituals. Last season's junior bouncers are fast approaching Independence Day, which means their mothers will be getting ready to do that their fuck. Like all males, they use their sense of smell <laughs> to find out if a female is sexually available. Sexually. He will court her for several days, sniffing around her threepenny bit and associated doings. <sighs> <sighs> The, the old grunting noises. You know what I recently found out because Queen Boomer told me about it. And I I didn't believe her at first, but apparently kangaroos they give birth to these tiny little things that just crawl up them and then go into the pouch. They're like this big. I was like I couldn't believe it. I was like holy crap! They give birth to, to their their offspring are like that small when they come out. It's crazy. Having found but one that true. seems game, he stays close to her side to ensure that no other hopping dog tries to cop off with her. The most dominant male will be the one to father the next generation of the herd. And that is something well worth fighting for. Okay, sailor, you fancy some? I'm in fifth gear. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's go. You can sling your hook. Fuck me. I'm 
<laughs> Yo, I was not prepared for that. Yo, dude. Oh my god. Unbelievable. This trio of ginger-hatted pigeons are trying to impress this cheap piece of fluff. She's going to get a close-up performance from the actual dancing bird. And if she's sufficiently impressed, she will have fuck with the geezer with the best moves. <laughs> the winner dismisses his rivals with a special victory pirouette. And she prepares to get down to the business of dirt. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that is a ground pigeon at mid to high arousal. Hello there. I beg your pardon. I'm just saying hi. And again, the female has lost interest and is off. Oh. This fool is the carpet pigeon. His hanging chest rug mesmerizes his target and indicates to her that he is quite literally gagging for his grip. What? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Look at him go! <laughs> oh man, look at this! That was actually kind of... That was crazy. In Costa Rica lives one of the natural world's biggest glamour boys. Oh. The Branch Pigeon. They are born showmen, designed to razzle and dazzle, with each trying to outshine the other with their brilliant plumage, fancy footwork, and noisy anal clackers. <laughs> they do that with their anals? <laughs> with their ass? <laughs> I was going to say, that that bird is like that... Michael Jackson probably saw that bird and was like, I need to learn that move, because this bird is an expert at moonwalking. Look at that. It's amazing. When really worked up. They reveal their eye-catching trouser. Although driven by sex, this is also a display of aggression. Warning rival males, keep your fucking distance. 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 <laughs> the echo. This is a rare golden frog. It has a voice, but it's not very loud, so it struggles to be heard in the noisy jungle. Good places to meet the brasses are rare, so they may have to be defended against rivals. Are we going to see Here a frog comes fight? one now. In case his warning call is inaudible, he makes his message clear with a wave. All right, sailor. All right, mate. I'm Colin Dent, house tricks. All right, can't complain. You seen any decent skirt round here? Oh, you piece of shit, Dick! You fucking con man! Another fella arrives. <laughs> hey, mate, sorry about Denty. He's been on the sauce all day. I don't want any trouble. All right, then. Come and have a chat. Oh, for fuck's sake, another one! Stay down! Stay down, you fucking wanker! <laughs> want some more? Yeah, well, fuck you. Right, I'm off. And don't even think about following me. <laughs> yeah. This time, the visitor is a female, and they get straight down to business. But before you know it, that wanker Colin Dent is back, and it's a golden threesome with no holds bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree. That's wild love. Yep. Sure is. Oh my dear lord. I could, uh, once again, I could listen to Matt Berry narrate a nature doc for hours. Hours. They should make a whole series on it. I watched the entire thing. For sure. Oh man. So fun, so entertaining, and hard, very hard to handle. I can't handle most of that. But uh, thank you, Duncan, for sending that in. Now, from the description, he said Matt Berry narrates it and then Bob Mortimer wrote it. So that means there's probably a lot of this stuff out there, isn't there? So maybe he has done an entire uh, show worth of uh, 
narrating uh, nature docs. I don't know. But anyway, that's what the comment section is for. Let me know if he does the, if there's like a whole series on something like this because I'd watch it in a heartbeat. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And I'll see you again soon. Peace out, Booms. Have a great day.